It was a great weekend for college football. Got to see a good portion of uh, A&M and Alabama after I left the Stanford Army game. Got to see a good portion of that, and certainly the uh, dramatic conclusion. But it was fun back and forth. And at one point, Gary Danielson said something about A.J. McCarron happy to not be referred to as a game manager. But it's hard because all eyes were on Johnny Manziel, and then you look up and you see what McCarron did, and you go, oh, by the way, he had a perfect afternoon. A.J. McCarron joins us now on the program. How did you feel you played personally, A.J.? Uh, I felt felt good. Um, I mean, I I know people see, uh, you know, playing a quarterback, how many touchdowns you throw and yards and stuff like that. But, you know, there's, I feel like there's more to that position. And uh, the fact that I I tried to get our team in the best play possible uh, on a lot of run checks. I mean, the whole game was pretty much run checks uh, to me and, how I felt the defense was playing and what side we needed to run to. So uh, I, I felt I felt good, but uh, my teammates did an excellent job. Uh, the, the entire game, O-line, unbelievable job, and receivers went up and made plays. How much freedom do you have to change a play? Uh, this week it was pretty much every play. Uh, I mean, I was checking the whole game. If they got into a certain defense, I'd uh, check us into a – you know, a pass play or a run the other side from, uh, I guess, like kind of numbers or wherever I thought was best. But, uh, I mean, it kind of varies week in and week out. I have to imagine, if I put myself in your position where you're on the field and you're known as the other quarterback, you've won a couple national titles, favored to win another one, and here you look over and there's Johnny Manziel and everybody wants to talk to him. What is what is that world like when you're trying to compete? And I know it's not you against Manziel, but as far as quarterback to quarterback, how do you process that where you don't get, you know, jealous, angry, hey, notice what I'm doing over here because everybody's talking about Johnny? Uh, I mean, me personally, I've just never been that way. Um, I mean, I, I've never been a selfish type of player. Uh, I, I don't care about notoriety and what awards I win, you know, as a quarterback or as a player. Uh, you know, my happiest accomplishments are the two national championships that we did as a team. And But you don't want to uh, be viewed as a game manager, though, A.J. Well, I mean, I, I really don't care what people view me as. Uh, you you're know, o- you're okay with that, the- with that label? That I mean, it, it, it sounds a negative with what you do for that offense. So that's why I didn't know if, if it bothers you. Yeah, I mean, because if that's the way other people view me, which is fine. Uh, I, I know the way my teammates view me, and I think my teammates would tell you, like, um, I, they feel like I'm an important player on the field for us at all times. And uh, so, I, I mean, I, I don't really care and, and pay attention to what everybody else um, views me as. What do you do better than Mansell? Well, I mean, I don't know. I, <laughs> it's not my job to really compare. Um you know, he, he has a certain job that he has to do for his team. Uh, we're two different types of players. So uh, I think, you know, it, his highs and shows and, and the way he plays shows that he's the best player for his team and uh, it puts him in the best opportunity to win a ball game. And, um, I, I, you know, I, I kind of just let my play uh, do the talking for myself. And uh, I, I think we've done a pretty good job so far. Talking to A.J. McCarron, the Alabama quarterback, joining his Stan Patrick show. What have you learned about celebrity hood social media here in the last year? Uh, it's a, a dangerous thing. Uh, you know, everything in, in our world nowadays is run off social media. Everything you do is out there at all times. Uh, nothing's ever a secret. So uh, I think that's one of the things that I learned most uh, just from talking to older QBs, uh, you know, Bertie Cora, the Mannings, um, John Parker, a bunch of guys that I've gotten close close with over the years, and uh, just realize how they handle themselves on, you know, social media sites, and uh, and how I can better myself for for my future and, and for my family in the future. The difference between this year's team and last year is what? Uh, new players. It's a new uh, team identity. Uh, you know, I think going into this last game, we really didn't have a team identity set out. Uh, we struggled the first game, and um, you know, I think we're starting to create that team identity. We played; we had a full 60-minute ball game, like Coach said, and uh, you know I felt like our guys fought the entire game and, uh, and did an excellent job, and, and we we came out with a W. What's campus like today? Uh, the same as always. 
uh, hot, and uh, I'm walking to class. I'm headed to class right now um, with my roommate, so uh, we're just walking on the sidewalk. But there. autographs, pictures, anything? No, no I mean, uh, sometimes people will come up for pictures, but, uh, that, I mean, that's one thing I love about our campus and, and the people here. They've, they've always treated me well, and, uh, and the one thing I try to – show people that I'm just a normal person too. I just want to be normal. I just happen to be blessed with talents to play football. So, uh, I mean, I, I just want to be viewed as a normal person while walking to class, just like everybody else. What's the tattoo situation? Uh, same as they were after, uh, I think the last time I talked to you, just, I got them, got tattoos on my arm that I told you about. And, yeah. and uh, that's it. You're not going to add. I don't know. Uh, they're addicting. Tell, but... They're they're addicting, AJ. Yeah, they are. But uh, at the same time, like I, I I'm only going to do so many, um, like in certain spots. So then I'm done. Why don't you make a bet with Coach Saban? You win another national title, like Rick Pitino with Louisville. Could you see Coach Saban <laughs> get, get Coach to get nah. a tattoo? Good. <laughs> Coach, Coach uh, he's not going down that road. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he looked – it looked like Coach Saban played in the game. He looked exhausted after that game. Well, I, I think that's one thing about their offense is it'll put – Roll Tide. Um, it'll put some exhaustion. <laughs> Wait, do you always have to say Roll Tide when somebody says that? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, it's kind of a given you know, here. <laughs> when Paulie and I went down for a game, and it was amazing, when we went to the Auburn game, it was everybody finished a sentence with War Eagle, no matter what it was. And then your place, yeah, hey, I'm going to go get a beer, Roll Tide. And I went, you don't have to say, like, Roll Tide after every, I now pronounce you man and wife, Roll Tide. I don't know about that. That, that might, that's some crazy stuff right there. Oh, <laughs> come on. I could see that happening in, in your, uh, your wedding vows. You can yell no, out, that, yell out roll no, tide. There will be no, there will be no football. Give me, give me a roll. Give me a roll tide, right? Yell out roll tide right now. No, I'm not, I'm not doing it. <laughs> hey, uh, congrats on the game. Uh, I know you won't get Thank the credit you. you deserve, but, uh, you know, those who watched and uh, I'm certainly those scouts who understand the position understand what you did. So um, good luck uh, rest of the season. Thanks for joining us again, AJ. Yes, sir. Thank you for having me. Uh, roll time. <laughs> right on cue. Yeah. Some kid runs up, yells roll tide, and then you got to say roll tide. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.